Are you one of those people who's intimidated by your sewing machine's buttonhole foot? Well, not anymore. I'm gonna demonstrate right now. Welcome to The Sewing Report, I'm Jennifer Moore. And you know, for a long time, I was really scared to use this buttonhole foot. And I thought if I made like a shirt with buttons on it, I would mess it up. But I'm gonna show you how to use it on the Eversone Sparrow 25, and hopefully it'll be a little bit less scary for you. This is a one-step buttonhole foot, so you're just gonna put your button in this little slot here, and then snap it into place, and that will automatically create the right size buttonhole for you. All right, so now what you're gonna do is put the foot in here, it'll just snap into place like this. There's a little lever on the side, and this is just for the buttonhole feature. You're just gonna to wanna to push this down. Okay, so now you have to select your stitch, and I'm going to select stitch eight right here, and that's buttonhole. Okay, so now we've got the buttonhole here. And now I'm gonna pick my stitch length and width, and I want my buttonholes to be kind of concentrated, so I'm going to turn down the stitch length to 0.3. I'm going to have a stitch width of about four, so let's try that out and see what happens. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is put your fabric under the presser foot. I'm using fabric that has interfacing on it, in a lot of applications, like shirts, they will probably have interfacing on it already, and this will help give the buttonhole a little bit more stability. If you are trying to get your buttonhole in a certain place, you can make a mark, like, so say I was trying to have my buttonhole be in this exact spot, we could do that. So now we're just going to line this up. So you see, I'm lining it up right at the beginning here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is hit start, start sewing. And that's it. Okay, so you can see my mark lined up with the left-hand side of my buttonhole stitching. And then, so the next time, I just need to make sure that when I'm starting, I'm starting a little bit to the left of my line. But this is why we practice on scraps. On the back, you can see this interfacing really helped keep the stitching stable. So definitely not a bad looking buttonhole, but we're gonna try this one more time. I'm just gonna make another mark about right here, and we're just we're just sort of guesstimating this, so it's not exact, but I just wanna try to see if I can line this up better the next time. First time I had my needle start right in the middle, but from practicing, I now know that I'm going to start my needle a little bit to the left of this marker line. So that's something that you can do is just practice with your foot, because every machine is gonna be different as far as where this line is starting. So we're just gonna do this again, but this time, try to get the line in the very center of the buttonhole rather than to the left. So let's try this one more time and see if we can line this up a little bit better. But again, this is why you need to practice with your foot. You really wanna get comfortable with your foot and kind of start to really understand your machine. Okay, so I think I got this lined up pretty well. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely better. Okay. I think this is gonna line up pretty nicely. All right. And here's our buttonhole. All right, let's take this out again. Trim off the threads. I'm just trimming these off. And we'll take a look at this second buttonhole attempt. This one definitely worked out better, although my line is a little to the right. Okay, and then we are going to try this again, but not, we're gonna put it a little bit more to the center than I did last time. So we're gonna start it right 
We're just gonna have it be touching the line almost. All right. My marking line is right in the middle and you can see it took me a few attempts to really get it right. So this is why it's good to practice first. Get out that button all foot and start practicing. And if you like these types of videos, feel free to subscribe to The Sewing Report. There's gonna be a lot more where this came from. And be sure to like this video if you found it helpful. I'm Jennifer Moore and I will see you next time.